One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here today is a beautiful 1979 Le Mans Safari wagon. Um, you don't see these anymore. Um, they're just not around. I love the beak front end on these Pontiacs. Buick made one, Oldsmobile made one, Chevy made the Malibu. Um, there's a few of them around, but the Pontiac is my all-time favorite. And in this funky green color, whoo buddy, it is a cool, cool car. Um, this one has some special options and different things. I'm going to do a complete walk around and review and show you everything, show you the inside, show you the outside, show you every side. And um, I'll go ahead and go for a test drive and all that good stuff. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And www.oneownercarguy.com. I'm going to run up and show you underneath and stuff and kind of get started on this bad boy. Very, very clean. Very original. Motor and all is very clean under here. Patina. No rust or anything. Just a little patina from where your um, paint gets chipped off, as you can see there. It's in great shape. Still got the plastic piece here. Okay, now I believe these are original miles that are on it. And I'll show you all that stuff here in a second on the inside. In fact, I'll show you that. Odo meter now. 67. Are they real? Or is it 167? I don't know. I know the jams are super clean. Seats have a couple tears. Four pounds, nice as can be. And look at this. We're talking all nice car here, man. And the upgraded factory sport wheels. I don't know the exact terminology for them, but I know they look good. Hole on the muffler, by the way. Yeah, look at the back. Just everything is just clean as can be. Exhaust as clean as can be. Factory undercoating, isn't that cool? Got your tank there. Lenses are good. We did not buff the chrome out too much or anything. Did not use mothers on it. And you can tell that given a little bit of rubbing, it would clean up a little bit more. This is one of them things where it's faded. It's older looking. I'm not asking the big money out of it. And I just can't put as much of a spin on it. The more I do to it, the more I do to it, and the more I charge, etc. Um, like the fading and stuff. I would love to paint this car. And to tell you the truth, you can paint the front and back and top and leave the sides. It's so good. It's just clean as can be. I'm going to go down the sides and show you any minor, minor issues. Um, minor chips and stuff. A little scratch or two on the back. I'm missing this. Surround on that. Missing the Pontiac logo there. Coming on the side, it's straight as can be. All your filler pieces here are good, which is amazing. The Pontiac ones seem to last better. A little scratch there, but no bubbling or anything. Look at that. Real metal, man. The trim is still good on it all, which it's a very upgraded package. Uh, lots of trim. Some little chips on the door here. And a scratch. The side trim's all good going down the side. I mean, it's really not even dinged up. Look how straight that is. I hope you can see that. Just straight as can be, man. This is a nice car. I've had a special want to redo this car. Little chips for a long time, and I've had it a while. I just haven't redone it. Don't want to have to ask the big money. I know somebody wants to fix it up. Fading and stuff on the urethane bumpers or whatever you call them. Fading on the hood. Not all dinged and bashed or rusted up or nothing. Look at all the chrome, woo! Stainless chrome, I don't know. And look around here. Just how clean and non-rusty it is. Okay, this is a sweet car. It's in great shape. I'll go down this side with you too. Chips, little miscellaneous small chips. Man, it sure is straight. Ding! <laughs> I'm all happy, man. I'm telling you, it's hard been hard to find one on this bad boy. Ding right there too. Ding right here. I'm stoked, man. I'm finding some dings. There's another one, and it's got dust on it. You can see from just sitting around all the pollen in the air. Love that factory chrome around it. So I'll give you another look going down this side. The roof is in great condition. And 
And that's kind of your outside walk around. My name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And I'm going to go ahead and hop in and go for a test drive, I guess. that will be the way to do this. OneOwnerCarGuy.com BeaglesPocket.com for miniature pocket beagles. And, God, this would be nice to drop a big old motor in. Big block, LS1, I don't know. Something big. It's got a V8 305 right now. And it actually is a very peppy, nice to drive car. AC is not ice cold or anything. It's cool, but not cool enough at all. Hasn't been ran in a few years, and I would service fluids and stuff just because. Um, I worry about hoses and belts on a long trip. Going on a test drive down here, I'm not too worried about much, except running on red light. Now see, that's questionable. A lot of people would have went. A lot of people. Guess I'm not a lot of people. I do like these cars. Now the dash, the dash is just a little bit cracked up here. And I want to make sure and tell you that. Seems to shift and drive great. And it's set for, God, I've had it a couple years. I do not see a blinker coming on. So we're gonna do the hand signal here. That was quick hand signaling. One owner car guy, dot com. Ain't got much battery left at all. This is a nice car, it's a nice driver. A little bit of cough there, it's a little cold runner. First couple minutes on these, they all run the same, whether it's a big old wagon or a little old wagon. Now that's what's so cool about this. It's a little old wagon. I've had the big old custom cruisers and the boats and the big old, what is it, the Caprice is the big one, I think. Malibu's the small one, I think so. Lots of LTDs I do. I've got a baby LTD on my site right now. OneOwnerCarGuy.com um, The little needle on that does not move as you move, by the way. Another cool option on this, roll up windows in the front manual and electric in the back. Kind of interesting. Crack in the windshield. Cough. Cough. There we go. There we go. It's definitely a good runner once you get her warmed up. Hard to warm it up with coming around the block. Yeah, it's warmed up now, and it wants to go. These little wagons are a little bit more peppy than the other one. You know, a little bit of a slip on the train every once in a while, and that's why I say a service. It seems to run good and all, and it always ran good for me until it set the last couple years. And now right there, I just felt a little bit of a slip. And I don't want that to be something that is different. Like right there, there you go. It kind of slipped a little bit in between gears. And I think it's because that right there is as far as we've driven it bands get no fluid in them and such. Ooh, there's the back. Haha. <laughs> wonder if I could stick that on there. We'll see. I don't have a key for the glove box. I don't have a key for the car on the door. And why would you list it without doing that? Well, I'm here to tell you that the more I put into it, the more it costs you. And I really, really try to make sure that I can sell these as cheap as I can. And I just didn't do that. Um, interior lighting's all good. Look at your pedals, nice and clean. Kick panel nice and clean. I'm amazed this battery's hung out so long. Door panels are in great condition. I would do the seats. The sides are in great condition. Nice and pliable still and everything. The faces are just a little bit messed up. The headrests are nice. The faces. And I could have the faces of these done for probably between three to five hundred bucks, depending on how you wanted them. 
But the problem is, too, you'd have to do the back. Um, he make you a deal if he's doing them all. So once again, I do not have the key for the back. I know it opens, because we've had it open. But we lost it. So. I have had a problem with keys in between my couple places. Now this is so fresh. Watch this. Holds up by itself. Look at the mechanism over there. So fresh. The wheels aren't even worn. Here's your sticker, another sticker. And I'm here to tell you, it's clean. And then a little push up on that. Uh oh, hang on. Sorry, gonna have to set this down and get the carpet out of there. It's easier to do from the back, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Now, I will pull the seat up. Will I? <laughs> um, try and pull it down. There we go. Right? Come on now. Oh, I bet you I have to do that. Well, I've never done that before. And as you can see, it's not all that hard. Carpet's in good shape. It's kind of pulled out there and pulled out there. That could be wrapped up. It just kind of got caught in the seat, I think. Small tear on that. Door panels are clean. I love them wheels. I almost took this thing apart and took them wheels off of it. <sighs> I can't take this thing apart. It's just too clean. That's all there is to it. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Lots of clean, original, one and two owner classic cars. I believe this is a one owner. Could be a two. Check the eBay ad. I'll have everything on there. And now I told you about the dash a bit. The headliner is in need. And the sun visors. I can have the headliner on all this done and the sun visors um, between 150 to 200. You're gonna be towards the top end of that with the sun visors. They're still in good shape. God, it's not, look at the original color. <laughs> Hope you can see that. And he can match it pretty close on that. Um, I don't know what else I could show. Oh, right there. <laughs> nice and clean. Pop the hood and show you under there. I'm gonna start it again. Uh. Oh, that's that. Hope you've seen that. The other one. That's pretty cool. Wing windows. Okay, so it's not power in the back. It's the power wing windows. And they're, wow, they are power in the back. They sure are. That is too cool. Oh no, they're not power in the back. Okay, Big L and Nick, forgotten 214. Um, how the hell do you roll the windows down this thing? I have no clue. Um, maybe it was one of them years that they didn't roll down. I'll bet you it was. That's an interesting fact, or maybe a factoid there. I never thought about that till just now. But I don't think they roll down. I think that's the way it is. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Somebody add something. Tell me something. I don't know everything, I'm far from it. Um, I'm gonna turn this off to where you can actually hear me. It's a nice runner. Squeak on the door, I'm sure you heard that. There's a little dust on there. And these chrome strips are in great shape and they're not rusted out on the screw holes. That's something they usually rust out all around here, especially on the big wagons. This is beautiful. I can't imagine having this small wagon and throw a LS1 in it or something. Oh! This is so nice. I told you again about the dash and didn't show you. Now look at how clean this is. Serious. It's clean. Blew that sticker off. It was on there until I got it. It is a 305, I believe. I thought it was a 350, but pretty darn sure it's a 305. Still got the hood insulation up there. Clean, clean. 
Nathan, 406-544-6919. Beautiful, beautiful car. Crack right here. Chip over there that I showed you. And I want to show you the dash up close. Here's on that seat. But like I said, the back seat is not in bad condition. You could leave it, but there's a little hole right there. Some little things maybe, but not even hardly stained. It's in great shape. These fronts are definitely a little more stressed. Cracks on the dash. I should just replace this. Very simple and cheap to do. Discoloration on the mirror. <laughs> These door panels are clean. Nathan 406 544 6919 1979 Pontiac Limon Safari. This stuff here is coming off the little plastic that goes over it. You have to refurbish that somehow when you do it. Love them grills. Well, any other questions, you can call me anytime. My website, One Owner Car Guy. And this is just about as nice as it gets. If you're looking for a classic wagon, stop it. Just call me, 406 544 6919. Nathan, One Owner Car Guy.com. StockGambles.com for financial and stuff like that on there. And other than that, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.